the depth of your struggle will determine the height of your success don't settle keep looking for your success and you should embrace hard work in the meantime and today's problem is on the screen from the multiple integrals and this is about the areas enclosed by the plane curves we have to find the area of a circle using double integrals so let us consider a circle equation with radius a let a be the radius of the circle let us choose small a be the radius of the circle and here it will be x square plus y square is equal to a square so this is the circle which is passing which is having the center as origin and a as a radius so here so this is the center point 0 comma 0 and this is the radius a a comma 0 so this is some a and this is some b c and d so if you observe this one so this is the equation y is equal to 0 this is x is equal to 0 so this will be a small strip here and according to this y square is equal to a square minus x square so y is equal to root over a square minus x square so the equation in terms of y will be y is equal to root over a square minus x square so this is the area so this is the region in which we have to find the area area of the circle so here if you observe that to compute the area of OAB to compute the area of OAB consider a strip consider a strip which is parallel to y axis which is parallel to y axis so this is the strip which is parallel to y axis and in terms of y so this line is y is equal to 0 and this circle equation that in terms of y is equal to root over a square minus x square then the strip moves from this end to this end so it will be covering each and every point of this strip oab area now our x coordinates are x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a so these are our x limits so he, here is x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a our y limits are from y limits varies from 0 to this is root over a square minus x square so y varies from 0 to y is equal to root over a square minus x square therefore the required area of a circle will be the required area is equal to 4 times of area of OAB so this is the quarter part and if it's multiplied with 4 we will get the total area of the circle so this will be 4 times of this is x is equal to 0 to a and this is y is equal to 0 to y is equal to this is root over a square minus x square into dy into dx so this is the area of the circle so first of all I am going to integrate with respect to y so this will be area will be 4 times of x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a and the integration of integral dy is nothing but y between the limits this is y is equal to 0 and this is root over a square minus x square and dx remains now if I keep the value then the area will be this is 4 times of this is x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a if I substitute the upper limit this will be a square minus x square into dx now we have to calculate we have to calculate the integration with respect to x so this will be a times of this is 4 into so the formula for this is integral root over a square minus x square formula is nothing but this is x by 2 root over a square minus x square plus a square by 2 and this is a sine inverse of this is x by a between the limits here the limits are from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a if I substitute the upper limit see what happens here 
सो एरिया इज इक्वल टू दिस इज फोर टाइम्स ऑफ इफ आई कीप ए हियर ए स्क्वेयर ए स्क्वेयर मैंने से स्क्वेयर दिस विल बी जीरो एंड हियर वॉट रिमाइंस दिस इज ए बाई टू इन टू साइन इनवर्स ऑफ दिस इज ए बाई ए and if i substitute zero as a limit lower limit so you don't know anything is zero and again sin inverse of zero is again zero so this remains and if i cancel this for one time and see what happens here this is 4 is equal to 4 times so of this is a square by 2 into this is sin inverse of 1 what is sin inverse of 1 so sin inverse of 1 is nothing but pi by 2 so this is 90 degrees at 90 degrees it will be One. So if I cancel this four, and what remains here? So area is equal to this is pi r square. So the radius here is a. We got as pi a square square units. This is how we have to solve. So this is the area formula, and this is how we have uh, calculated this one. So let me show you this one. So we have to find the area of a circle using the double integrals. Let us consider the radius as a units, that is a small a units, and uh, this is the circle equation with center zero comma zero and radius a. So this is the radius a, and this is center zero comma zero. So I am considering this circle equation in terms of y as y is equal to root over a square minus x square. So we have to calculate the area of O A B. So in order to find the value of O A B, we have to consider a strip which is parallel to y axis, so that it will be, it will be sliding from this end to this end. So I have to consider the area of O A B, and if it's multiplied with four, with four will get the total area of a circle. So here the x limits are from x is equal to zero to x is equal to a, and the y limits are from y is equal to zero to y is equal to root over a square minus x square. And after getting all the limits, these are the x limits and these are the y limits, and we got the area value as the double integral of dy dx. And if it's multiplied with four. So we'll get the total area of a circle. First of all, I've integrated with respect to y and substituted the limit, and later I have integrated with respect to x and substituted the limit, and finally we got the area of a circle as pi a is equal to pi a square. Here a is the radius, and the next area we are going to find is find the area bounded by the parabola y square. So this is y square is equal to 4x and its lattice rectum. and let me tell you it is a parabola so we have to find the area of a parabola and its lattice rectum first of all we have equation of the parabola so the equation of the parabola is nothing but y square is equal to 4x as you know that this is a symmetric about x axis the equation of the parabola is symmetric it is a symmetric about x axis so if it's symmetric about the x axis so now let me show you the figure here so it is a symmetrical line so this is x axis and this is y axis and uh, this is origin that is 0 comma 0 and this is uh, the lattice rectum so this is l and this is l dash and here is the point that is a comma 0 and here it is uh, there is a small strip here so we have to find the area so for that for sliding i have taken a strip which is parallel to y axis and in terms of y so this is y is equal to 0 and here what is given here area of uh, so the equation of the parabola is y square is equal to 4ax in terms of y this is root over this is 4ax which is equal to root 4 is nothing but 2 root ax so in terms of y so this equation is 2 root of ax and here the x limits are from 0 to a and y limits are from 0 to root over so this is 2 root ax so these are our limits and this is the area so this area we have to find So if I multiply with two times, then we'll get the total area of a parabola. So find the area bounded by the parabola and its lattice rectum. So this is the lattice rectum, and this is the parabola equation. And in between, we have to find the area. So let us consider the limits here. So the focus, its focus is 
it's a point a comma 0 this is a comma 0 and the equation of the lattice rectum so we have the equation of lattice rectum so this is x is equal to a so lattice rectum equation is x is equal to a so the required area so as you know that the required area is so this is the part which we are going to integrate if it's multiplied by 2 we'll get the total area enclosed by the parabola and the lattice rectum so that is 2 times of this is double integral x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a and y limits are from 0 to root 2 root of this is 2 root ax into this is dy dx this is the area first of all we have to find the area so in order to find the area here a is equal to 2 times of this is x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a first of all i am going to integrate with respect to y so this will be integral dy will be y and the y limits are from 0 to root over 2 root of ax into dx so if i substitute the upper limit then a will be x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a this will be 2 root of ax into dx so a value is 2 times of this is x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a this is 2 root a and for root x can be written as half into dx so if i integrate this is 2 is equal to 2 into integral x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a 2 root a so we have to integrate this one so in order to integrate this one so we have a formula x bar n is equal to x bar n plus 1 by n plus 1 this is 2 times of this is 2 root a and if i integrate this one so what happens this one x bar this is half plus 1 and this is again half half plus 1 between the limits x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a so if i multiply this one so this will be 4 root a and this will be x bar this is 3 by 2 and this is 3 by 2 between the limits x is equal to 0 to x is equal to a so the area will be this is 4 root a and this will be 2 by 3 times of if i substitute the upper limit this will be 3 by 2 so the area will be 4 into 2 by 3 and root a can be written as a power half and again it is a power 3 by 2 so a is equal to 8 by 3 and this is half plus 3 by 2 and as you know that so this can be written as 4 by 2 and if i cancel the area of a parabola which is with its lattice rectum is 8 by 3 into a square so this is the area formula this is the area of a area bounded by so this is the area bounded by parabola y square is equal to 4ax and its lattice rectum and this and its sorry lattice and its lattice rectum so this is how we have to find out and first of all see this is the diagram so as you know that it is symmetric about x axis and uh, in terms of y we got as 2 root of ax and in order to find the in in integration or the area we have to keep a strip which is parallel to y axis so that it will be sliding from this end to this end so the x limits are from 0 to a and y limits are from 0 to 2 root of 2 root ax so here is the area formula so we have to multiply with 2 so that will get the total area of a parabola and its lattice rectum so first of all i've integrated with respect to y and substituted the limits and later i have integrated with respect to x and substituted the limits and finally we got the area of the parabola and its lattice rectum as uh, a is equal to 8 by 3 a square so this is how we have to solve and uh, keep doing the same over and over nothing is impossible we'll meet you in my next video very very soon until then stay connected you know if you like please subscribe to this channel share it with your friends and pass it on and leave a comment below thank you so much